and welcome to our digital electronics project. This is group 1 from section A1. The name of our hardware project is Snake Game using Digital Logic. Before going into the main presentation, let's have a look at the circuit sections we designed and combined to make this. The sections include moving switches, start position, food producing section, memory section, update section, display section, and counting section. M has several slots. Each slot can store 8 bits. We use 6 bits in each slot, the first 3 denoting the 3 bit row number and the next 3 denoting the column number in the dot matrix shown. Let us suppose two such slots are being used in the RAM in the beginning of the game. The first one is the tail and the second one is the head. When one of the buttons is pushed and the input is valid, say suppose if the up button is pushed, then the head's position will be updated by subtracting 1 from the 3 bit row number. This result is stored in the subsequent address of the head. Then the previous tail will be removed and the overall position of the snake will be updated. We cannot access RAM address from different parts at a time though. We take a clock pulse that denotes the snake speed and to update the position we divide it into some parts. Basically the frequency of the clock pulse is doubled twice to do so and so we get four different parts to access the RAM address four times. In the first part, we fetch the old head position. In the next, we update the new head position. In the third, we check for collisions. And in the fourth part, the tail position is updated. This is the speed of the snake. And these are the four parts within the update speed. When we'll access the RAM addresses at different times. We're using a potentiometer to increase the update speed or to decrease it. This is the circuit diagram we used for moving switches. These are the outputs that relate to the direction of movement, only one of them can be high at a time. The first one is high if the up button here is pressed. Similarly, the second output is for down, the third one for right and the fourth one for left. Also, the down button must not work if pressed directly after the up button. So if the user presses up and then down, then in this case the circuit won't have output for down. Rather, it will show the previous output, which was for up button. Similar action will be performed for left-right pair. One of these two won't be accepted right after another. These are the four directional push buttons. This is up, this is right, this is down, and this is left. And these three bits denote the row number of old head position. The second three bits are the column number of old head positions, next three bits are the row number, new, and later three bits are the new column number. And when we are going to press the right button, it should add 1 to the column number, keeping row number unchanged. So here we go. So here we can see the expected result here. We can also check the validity of our updater by pressing up button 2. Here it, it decreased the row number by 1. These 3 bits here denote the row number and these 3 bits are the column number. The dot matrix turns on the LED according to these two info. For example, if the row number is 101, that means 5, the column number is 110, that means 6, then this LED is turned on. These are the row bits and these are the column bits which makes the LED go bright. Uh, we change one bit to show it still works. And here we go. Our whole setup looks something like this. This is one of the two power sources we are using. And this is the other one. And this button here is the start game button which when pressed displays the snake and the food on dot matrix. In the first address of RAM the default position of tail is stored. This is the 7-7 position. The head is in the 7-6 position which is stored in the second address of RAM. A random number generator is used to generate the food. Here we can see the length of the snake is 2 bits. This is the random number generator. We're gonna use it to create the food at random position and display it on dot matrix. 
The circuit sections we designed to use in this whole game making process work individually just fine. But unfortunately, when connected together to get the big picture, some practical problem occurred and blocked the expected overlap. There were a lot of ICs used and some of them were coming out of the breadboard without any sign that they did. Also, the delays associated with each IC delayed the whole update process and so the organization between the circuit sections got hampered. Some of the ICs faced a high rise in temperature when we tried to run the process as a whole, so they didn't perform as expected. However, we believe that our circuit should have worked if we had got rid of these problems. Thank you for staying with us and watching.